What's up YouTube? Today I want to show you guys a little update on uh, what I've done to the Epic so far. And uh, just a quick video, I'm not going to go too far in depth. And the reason why is because um, I'm actually going to do some of these products individually. I'm going to do a video on some of the upgrades that I did. So because of that I just don't want to go too in depth on the actual products itself. Um, so if you notice in the beginning of the video, um, I put on, I guess the first thing that stands out are the the uh, Crank Brothers um, pedals. These are the stamp pedals. And I got them in blue just so that the bike can pop a little bit since it's pretty much all gray and red. I kind of wanted to stand out um, just a little bit. So I got the blue pedals. These are the uh, large ones because uh, I wear a size 12. And so uh, I like the Chester pedals by Race Face. But the thing about them is sometimes my foot does slip since I have a large foot. So these have, um, these have been a little bit better for me on there. So uh, sticking with them for now anyway. Uh, I'll update you on those. Also, I put the uh, Race Face crank boots. Um, I guess you can see right here at the bottom. I did a close up on them earlier. Uh, I got the red pair just to protect those actual crank arms, um, which they do get scratched up pretty easily. Uh, I put a quick little mud guard in the front it does sit kind of low to the tires so I'm not sure um, if I change tires if that's going to work or not but for now those work on that one so um, good to go there uh, put my famous cool change uh, bag in the back as you can see I have those on all of my bikes so that's not, nothing new I did a review on that one I think in an earlier video but the most expensive part um, is the dropper post now with that I must say, um, I kind of, I kind of did a lot of research on the dropper post and which one I wanted to get because these things aren't that cheap, especially the, the really um, good ones with the good reviews. So I went with the bike yoke, and I'm going to do another video just specifically on that. This is called the bike yoke revive, and uh, the good thing about this one is less maintenance and uh, less. Um, uh, issues when it comes to the dropper post now I know that there's the what is it I think it's the Fox transfer or um, there's another Fox uh, dropper post that's really popular and really expensive they got the I forgot what it's called but it looks like it's gold it's like a gold uh, plated one and then they got the regular black one but those are like four four hundred and fifty dollars I think up to five hundred dollar dropper post this one was about four hundred itself but I got it on sale for three hundred and um, the good thing about this one is a lot of people don't really know a lot about it but if you do the reviews on it it really is supposed to be um, it's in the top line above biker post it's funny um, when they I actually got this one installed because I really don't know a whole lot about um, dropper post and so when I took it to the shop they didn't really know about the bike yoke either and so I was kind of explaining it to them and showing them some videos and stuff on there but you can do it yourself if you uh, YouTube bike yoke revive uh, that's the one that that I got on this one and um, it was able to be installed in the frame so I'm excited about that the cool thing about it is um, when it gives you any type of maintenance issues there is a I think it's a four yeah it's a reset valve on the side of it which I'm going to do another review separately you just turn that that reset button and it resets the actual dropper post um, you push it down, it pops back up in any air that's um, stuck in there that you need to release or to reset it, you do it that way. So it's just a very quick turn of the dial, push it down, and then you're on your way. Now I must say I'm still getting used to the actual uh, post itself because you know if you go from a bike that doesn't have one to actually having one, it's a learning curve. So it's kind of weird having a seat that can go up and down, but I have found it useful on one of my rides. Um, especially when going uphill so um, you know I haven't I guess um, seen all the benefits as of yet but I can I can tell it's definitely going to come in handy uh, later on down the line so as I get more comfortable and used to it um, the seat this is the same seat that I had on the avalanche I just transferred it to this one this one actually I didn't realize it's almost an exact copycat of the specialized version this seat was like $40, $45 compared to the two or $300 specialized one. 
So um, I actually went to the store and compared it, almost the exact same specifications, the exact same size. Um, Specialized probably had a little bit more softener to it, but we're talking about a forty dollar seat compared to a I don't know between two or three hundred dollar seat. So you know I'll go with that one. It's just as comfortable to me. Um, so uh, yeah, that's about it. And then I added the uh, Specialized water cage. Um, and then other than that, that's the only things I've done to it so far. But again, I'm going to go in more detail about this biker post in another video. I mean, dropper post in another video. And other than that, man, that's that's it. The only thing I'm going to do now is I've bought a couple of more sets of tires for Black Friday. I'm going to go into a separate video about tires. Um, I bought some specialized uh, grid uh, ground controls. Um, which is supposed to definitely help with traction um, as these are more uh, what you call it um, race tires and then I also got some Maxxis Icon tires for this bike with the retro skin walls on them uh, just because I like that retro look I think it'll look cool on this bike so that's that'll be in another video as well then I'm thinking anything else that I've done to it I think that's about it so other than that guys I just want to show you an update on um, some of the things I've done to it so far so uh, love it um, I'm actually even thinking about entering my first race on it uh, you know just as a, a newbie see how that goes and um, and yeah but so far so good so other than that I hope everyone's doing well I'll catch you guys on the next video and uh, look out for um, some of my other reviews I got coming up on some products that I bought during Black Friday and Cyber Monday um, and then I got some other new videos with some arm pads, knee pads, and some um, some other uh, items as well. Just accessories, bike accessories. Um, one thing I did order as well, I forgot to mention, I bought a new stem, but I believe this is anywhere from a 70, I think this is like a 70 to a 90 millimeter um, stem. Um, I want to shorten that a little bit because that's a little bit too long. So I went with the Race Face Atlas 50 millimeter and um, I was going to go a little bit less than that uh, down to maybe 40 or even another stem down to 30 uh, but I think I'm going to stick with the uh, with the 50 for now and just kind of kind of see how that how that turns out how that goes so all right guys so other than that I'll catch you out in the next video peace